Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back once again. Just as my game center welcomes me back, I welcome you. <laughs> Um, it is Mimo. So happy to be here with you guys, as always. And as you can see from this right here, we've got a, another episode of Let's Clash, and we also have a new farming base. So check it out. Get ready for this. Um, that's right. I know I'm only going to be at Town Hall Six for probably a week or two more. Um, all my defenses are almost maxed out. This Archer Tower that everybody commented about is going to be done in 11 hours. And then this air defense is working, as well as my clan castle. But let's go ahead and jump into this base design as we are talking about the clan castle. We're going to put that thing right in the middle because it is the best defense when you are in an active clan. And I'm in a Golgotha clan, obviously. Um, that is my clan system. And it is very active. Um, what I'm going to be doing here is setting the uh, elixir and gold storages on opposite sides. That way when people attack your base, they can't get all of your gold or all of your elixir at once. They're going to have to fully deploy. So whether you're Town Hall 6 or whether you're Town Hall 10, it's good to spread out your resources because that way people can't easily farm all of your resources from you. All right. Next, we're going to bring in our mortars which is our most important uh, defense, tied with the Wizard Tower, in my opinion. We're going to put those on opposite sides of each other so that they can cover the entire base, as you can see. And next, we're going to bring in our Wizards, which are maxed out. Yeah, buddy. So Wizards are maxed out. As you can see, they're both covering um, all of our resources. And guys, one thing that's very important to pay attention to with your defenses is that you have your defenses protect your defenses. Um, you not only want them to protect your base and your resources, but you <clears throat> excuse me, also want them to protect your defenses. So as you can see from these mortars, they are protecting our wizard tower. So if our wizard towers are getting attacked, the mortar can help defending them, which is very important because your defenses are your most important, pardon me, your, <laughs> your most important um, uh, things on your base. I just got a huge brain fart. Pew! All right, so next we're going to bring in our archers. We're going to put them right here. And then, come on. So we're going to put one right up here at the top. We're going to bring the other one down here to the bottom. Um, and we're going to take this other one and put it over here by this mortar. So we spread them out around the base because with point defenses, you also want to make sure that they cover the entire base. So as you can see, the entire base is covered by archers, which is perfect because they have sweet range. Next, we're going to bring in cannon. And we're going to bring in cannon. And then we're going to bring in the other cannon right over here. It's very important to spread out your point defenses. Don't put all your cannons on one side and all of your archers on one side. Each defense is created to do different things. So you want to take advantage of that. Um, next, we're going to bring in our air defense. I'm not too worried about air defense at Town Hall 6 honestly um just because i don't i haven't been attacked by that much air uh units minions dragons balloons anything like that so i'm not really too worried about it at this point but as i go up into town hall seven i am going to start protecting those a little bit more um and then next we're just going to bring in this pretty little gold storage right come on there we go we're just going to bring in that pretty little gold storage and we are good to go. Guys, one of the things that I want to point out to y'all is um, it, this is actually very, very important so that people don't lazy farm you, as it's called. As you can see over here on the right, I have an elixir collector, and then a barrack, and then a gold, and then my spell factory, and then an elixir collector, and then these uh, research, whatever the heck this thing is called laboratory um you want to spread out your collectors you don't want to put all your gold on one side i love it when i find bases with all the gold on one side because i just deploy like 30 archers and i take all of the gold so make sure that you do that uh, make sure that you spread out your resource collectors um along the base so that they don't just get crushed by um by people that are just coming to farm your base, all right? So here's the design, guys. It looks freaking awesome. Um, we don't have any builders available right now, so there's going to be no building done. But hey, look at that right there. That's right, full army camp. Let's go on the attack and see what we can find, guys. Hopefully we can find an awesome base right off the bat. And would you look at that.
This is a good base. 94,000 gold, 80,000 elixir. I'm going to go ahead and attack this. Why don't we drop our giants in right up here. Wait for that mortar to strike and drop those uh, wall breakers. Let's go ahead and drop a healing spell right there. Drop some of these minions. Um, we do have some clan castle troops that we got to worry about. So hopefully these wizards and some of these archers will, archers will head in there and uh, take care of business, but I'm not sure if they will or not. Um, our, I said minions earlier. I'm sorry. Our goblins are running around. Um, we're going to go ahead and keep on dropping our barbarians and our archers along the outside <clears throat> so that they can do some work for us. It looks like most of the resources are in the collectors. Um, I mean the storage is right here. You can see all that gold in that storage. Um, so we're going to wait, and we're just going to let our giants work their way around as well as our archers before we deploy too many troops. We have now got almost all of the elixir. Um, it looks like the rest of it is in the town hall, so once that goes down, we'll be good. Um, we can go ahead and actually drop down the rest of our barbarians as they go over to the corner or whatever. And I'm going to keep these last eight archers because, as you can see right there, that is all the resources for us. Woo -woo! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Um, we're doing really, really good right now when it comes to resources, guys. Um, the walls that I need for upgrading are 75,000 each. So that means right now I can do about 10 walls. So it is going to be a while until I am completely done with my walls. Um, but for the most part, I think that we have all of our gold, um, all of our gold upgrades are almost done. This giant's about to die at the bottom. I don't really care. I'm not going to deploy the rest of my archers. We already have two stars. I'm just going to go ahead and end the battle for the sake of time. 94,000 gold, 80,000 elixir. Guys, at Town Hall 6, that is not too bad at all. But I have been crushing it lately. Let's go ahead in here um, and check out what has been going on in my attack log. So there's the attack we just had. Look at that second attack at the top now, guys. 222,000 gold, 143,000 elixir, crushing it. 97,000 gold, 85. 151, 64. 146, 103. 60, 119. 181, 175. 166, 194. And look at this one right here. Almost at the top as I stretch it. 314,000 gold. 313,000 elixir. Guys, that one was dope. We were definitely crushing it on that base. Um, There's no longer a replay available. I am so, so sorry. Um, but we're doing really, really well right now. We are pretty close um, to finishing this town hall level, guys. We only have um, none of our defenses left. Uh, I guess we have, shoot, dang it. We have to upgrade the barracks. <laughs> um, so we have the barracks left to upgrade, which sucks. Um, but other than that, and the uh, army camps, we have one army camp upgrading to max right now. We have two more. So we'll be here for maybe a week or two more, depending on how well rating goes. Um, I'm going to show you all the army comp that I'm using. I'm using eight uh, giants and five all breakers in one camp. One, two, three, four wizards, and then fill the rest of it with archers. Um, and then we are going to, I use healing spells, then we're going to go over here, we're going to do 20, go come on, 20 goblins, Whoop. there we go, and no more archers, get out of here, and then we're going to do 15 barbarians, I just went way overboard on that, so 15 barbarians, and you know what, we're going to go ahead and fill the rest of this camp with archers, so it's 15 right there, and then let's go ahead and get rid of 15 on here so that they end um, at about the same time. One, two. All right, so there we go. We're done with that, guys. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, you guys are so much cooler than me. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for everything. That's all there really is to it. You guys rule. Um, as always, guys, keep calm and clash on, and I will see you guys later, all right?